Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Pilates for Beginners series. Today's sequence is a full body workout with a little more focus on the back muscles and the obliques. Let's get started. We'll begin this workout in a seated position with some active side bends and spinal twists. Please join me in a seated position now. Straighten the spine, roll the shoulders down. Keep the neck in alignment with the spine and take a moment here to tune into the breath. Spread awareness in the body through the breath. You may close your eyes if that helps you, or you can keep them open, keeping your gaze soft. Take a couple of breaths. Notice your breath. Notice how the body feels in the beginning of this workout. Give yourself some credit for showing up, for making it to the mat today. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and blink your eyes to open. Very good. Let's begin with those side bends. So right fingertips will come in line with the right hip. Left arm will reach high on the inhale. S lengthen your spine on the inhale. On the exhale, side bend. Reach through those fingertips. Sitting bones stay on the ground. Inhale, come back to center. Like I said, we're keeping this active because we're warming up the body. And come back to center. Inhale. Lengthen. Every time you're inhaling, think of lengthening the spine a little more. And exhale. Reach through those fingertips. Knees stay down towards the ground. Let's do a couple more here. Inhale. Exhale. You can slide that hand away if that works for you. And come back to center. Good. Let's switch. Inhale. Right arm reaches up this time. Exhale. Bend. Inhale. Exhale. Reach through those fingertips. Inhale. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Do a couple more. Let the breath guide you. Go at your own pace here. No rush. Very good. And when you're ready, release the arm. Next, spinal twist. So you can stay in a cross-legged position, or you can straighten the legs forward, or even bend the knees and come into a little butterfly or diamond shape. Okay? You pick the one that suits you best today okay i'm going to keep my legs in a uh, in a diamond shape and now i'm going to bring my right hand to my left shoulder left hand to my right shoulder so just cross your arms in front of your chest lengthen through the spine inhale on the ex exhale we're going to twist towards the right feel free to exhale through the mouth inhale center exhale left side inhale Exhale. Keep going with your breath. I'm going to demonstrate it with the legs forward as well. If your legs are forward, flex your feet just so that the muscles are nice and active and twist. So notice I'm not twist. I'm not moving more with my elbows this way. It's more a rotation through the spine. Think of your rib cage revolving around the spine as you rotate and twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Use the exhale for the twist. For those doing this with the legs crossed, <sighs> inhale, exhale. Every time you come back to center, take it as an opportunity to lengthen the spine a little more. Think of that ribcage revolving around the spine. Pull the belly button in as you twist. Get that engagement in the core. <sighs> Good. If, you're, if this is enough for you, stay with this. If you're ready for a little more, you're going to exhale twice. <sighs> <sighs> Inhale, center. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, exhale. Two pulses each side. <sighs> <sighs> Inhale. Inhale. Do one more. Very nice. 
nice and go ahead and release your arms very good please join me in a tabletop position we're just going to do a little bit of um, warm-up for our wrists so bring your wrists under the shoulders and take a moment here to draw the ribs and belly button in and just rock forward and back forward notice here i'm not collapsing between my shoulders i'm lifting my ribs up towards the ceiling activating the muscles between the shoulder blades good keep breathing through your movements very nice good come back to center turn your fingers towards the outside edges of your mat and then rock side to side side to side keep your palms flat on the mat activate those muscles in the back lift the ribs draw the belly button in towards the spine very good and come back to center tuck the toes under take a moment here to take your time really <laughs> to come on the belly there's no rush take your time take a moment breathe once you're on your belly we're going to do some back muscles activation and strengthening the first one is the swan prep we're going to get our arms in a W position. So we're bending our elbows, palms flat on the floor, forearms on the floor. Legs are separate, heels in, toes out. Okay, now think of a thread pulling the crown of the head forward, lengthening through the spine, neck nice and long as well, no wrinkles in the back of the neck. Now from here, keep your feet on the floor, inhale, Get into a soft extension in the back. On the exhale, lower down. Use the inhale to lift. And ensure that this extension does not go past your lower rib or, or the last rib. You want to keep it soft. And focus more on lengthening rather than lifting. So it's more about the length and less about the height like this. And every time you lift, think of drawing the shoulder blades, these bones right here, down towards your buttocks. If you had pockets on your leggings or your shorts, think of tucking the shoulder blades down into those pockets. Use your breath. Exhale to return to the mat. Let's do it one more time here. No wrinkles in the back of the neck and down. Really good. Take a moment, wiggle your hips side to side. We're going to do the same thing now, but we're going to add on a little bit, adding, adding on a bit of challenge. Now from here, inhale to lift and hover your arms off the floor. So here we're working more on using those back muscles and less of support from the arms. Activating those back muscles and slowly lower down. Let's do this three more times. Keep those legs active. Lift those kneecaps so that your thighs are nice and active. No wrinkles in the back of the neck. Shoulders down. And release. Keep going with your breath. Relax the facial muscles. Keep your breath smooth. Very nice. And once you're done, relax. Take a moment here. Have a look at the next one while you rest. So the next one is the dart. We're going to bring our legs slightly closer. Arms will be by the sides, palms facing in towards the body. Now we're going to imagine the body like a dart, nice and long, straight line, okay? So we're going to keep the feet down. I'm going to inhale to lift my arms off the floor, reach the crown of my head forward, 
and the shoulders back and keep my arms really long as if I wanted to reach my fingertips towards my feet. On the exhale, I'll come down. Okay. Same thing, legs stay active. Think of lifting your kneecaps just to activate your thighs. Inhale up and exhale down. Feel free to join me whenever you're ready. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Activating those back muscles. Think of length. Very good. Let's do two more and then we'll add on to this. Okay, last one. And see if you can hold it here in this dart position and pump the arms in. As if you wanted to clap behind your back. Great workout for your arms and your back muscles here. Pump, pump. Let's go for five and four and three. Breathe. Two and one. And release. Very good. Take a moment. Wiggle your hips side to side. And this is going to be the last one here. We're going to do the same thing. But this time I'm going to add a little something for our triceps. The, mu the muscles right here. So we're going to flip our palms up this time. We're going to inhale to lift. And then I'm going to ask you to pump up towards the ceiling, okay? I promise you're going to feel that burn in your triceps. Let's get started. Legs active, spine long, shoulders down, inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Think of your collarbones being really wide, smiling wide. And now let's go, pump. Flip the palms up, pump, pump. Keep breathing. Can you relax your facial muscles a little more? Let's go for five and four and three and two and one. Very good. Relax. Wiggle your hips side to side. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Press up and take a quick stretch here for the back. Reach your arms forward or maybe you can keep them bent if you need a little support under the head. And breathe into your lower back, breathe into your upper back, breathe into your shoulders and your neck. And every breath you take, let it bring a little more relaxation, easing tension out. Nice. And whenever you're ready, you can lift your head and join me in a tabletop position again. Okay, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to curl our toes under, spread our fingers so we, we have a nice base. Wrists will stay under the shoulders, so we're not here, we're not too close. Under the shoulders, shoulders over the wrists. Neck long. Now. We're going to draw the ribs in, belly button in, engage the abdominals. And then I'm going to ask you to just hover the knees off the floor. I'm not lifting my hips. I'm not lifting my buttocks. It's just the knees coming off the floor and down. We're going to do this about eight times, okay? It's going to take a lot of work in the core and in your arms, but you can do it. <laughs> I'm confident you can. Let's go. Lift and down. Make sure you're lifting your ribs or not collapsing um, between the shoulders. Push away from the ground. Lift and down. <sighs> Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. <sighs> Take your time. There's no rush here. I want you to use your breath. <sighs> your breath is your friend. Keep going here. Nice and strong arms, strong abs. Lower down. Very good. 
down. Very nice. Let's do maybe two more. Last one. Good job. Lower down the knees and take a moment. Maybe shake your hands. Open and close those fingers. Rotate the wrists. Give your hands, your wrists a little love. Maybe the shoulders. <sighs> Good. Great job, everyone. Okay. We're going to continue with our side lying sequence. So please join me on the side. So we're going to lie down on the right side of the body and bring the left leg on top. So you can either support your head this way, bending the elbow, or you can lie down fully. You can place a cushion on top of the, of, on top of the arm and rest your head there. Okay, so once we've got this, the bottom leg can be slightly bent if that works better for you. Otherwise, you keep it nice and straight, flex that foot, and then rest the top leg on top of the right leg. Now, you want to watch out for the top hip falling back this way. You want the hip points to be stacked the whole time. Okay? Now, pull the ribs in, belly button in, and think of the lower waist lifting up and away from the ground. It might still be touching. Don't worry about that. Actively think of lifting it. That will help you engage your abdominals. Once your abdominals are engaged, your hips will stay steady. Okay? So once again, you can bend your uh, bottom leg's knee if you want. I'm going to start with the knee bend. Lift the top leg. Okay, I'm not lifting too high. And now start to circle. Slowly. How smooth is that circle without the hip dancing around? <sighs> Breathe. Although this looks like a very simple move, it takes a lot of work. You're working on the muscles right here on the sides. You're working with your abs as well to keep the hips quiet. So if your leg is straight, the bottom leg is straight, this is how you'll do it. That is a little more challenging. Good, and now go ahead and reverse the circle. Try to keep that top leg as straight as possible. If that is not comfortable, feel free to bend a micro bend is always okay. Good. Stay with me. Let's do two more. Nice. And then slowly lower down. Take a moment. Give your thighs a little tap. We're going to stay on this side and do one more exercise. Check in with your waist, your abdominals your hip points, and when you're ready, go ahead and lift that leg again. And we're just going to lift a little higher this time and lower down without touching the foot or the leg down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. <sighs> Breathe. Keep your abdominals engaged. Try to reach through that leg, either through those toes or the heel if you're flexing. <sighs> Breathe. Let's do five and four. Three, two, one. Little challenge for you here. Can you keep the leg lifted and pulse up eight times? Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You can do this. Two, one, and Release. Very good. Give yourself a little tap here. Use your hand to press up. Take your time. And join me in a kneeling position before we move on to the other side. So if kneeling is uncomfortable for you, if you have any pain in the knees, you, you can do the same exercise standing. Okay. So once you're in this kneeling position, reach your arms by the sides. Roll the shoulders back, and we're simply going to side bend and side bend. Think of your fingertips wanting to reach the mat. So I'm not doing this with my shoulders. Think of reaching through the fingertips. 
And this is great for your obliques, your abdominals. Good. And reach. Like I said, if kneeling is not comfortable, do the same thing standing up, side bending. I'm not leaning forward. I'm not arching my back. It's side bends. <laughs> Breathe. Keep it active. Let's go for eight and seven and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Come back to center and relax. Let's move on to the other side. So lie down on your left side this time, right leg on top. Take a moment to find that starting position. Bottom knee can be bent. Make sure your hips are, your hip points are stacked. Bottom waist is lifted, belly button drawn in. And once you have the position, straighten that top leg. Take a breath here. Exhale. Okay, let's begin. Lift that top leg. Again, not too high, not too low. Slightly higher than my hip. Now from here, start to draw circles without the hips dancing around. Can you keep the hips steady? Engage your abdominals. Think of the hip points drawing in towards the center, belly button in towards the spine and the ribs in towards the center as well. Make that circle nice and smooth. Breathe through it. The slower you go, the more work you're doing. There's no rush here. Good. If you want a little challenge, you straighten that bottom leg and let's reverse the circle. Let's go. Start with small circles. And then slowly, once you get the stability, go ahead and make that circle bigger. Remember to flex the foot on the leg that's on the floor if you're straightening it. Good. Let's do two more. Breathe. And release. Take a moment. Next one, just the leg lifts. So when you're ready, you either flex or point. <sighs> Breathe, and once you're ready, lift. Okay, and we're going to lift a little higher and lower down. Lift and lower down. Lift. <sighs> Breathe. Remember, this is a full body engagement opportunity. So although the legs are working and moving here, we want to be aware of how our abs are engaged, how our hips are placed, how we're breathing. Notice also how your facial muscles are. As our muscles and the rest of the body get tired, we tend to strain our eyes. We tend to go into a tunnel vision. So think of relaxing the muscles around your eyes, your cheeks, soften your gaze. Good. Last little challenge here. Lift. Keep the leg lifted and pulse up, up. Check in with your hips. Draw the belly button in and up. Good. Stay with me. Either point or flex. Five and four. Three, two, one. And release. I know it burns. <laughs> Don't worry. We have a good stretch for um, the glutes coming up. Let's lie down. On the back, take a moment here, breathe. And once you're on your back, bend your knees, keep your feet flat on the floor. So we're going to start with one exercise for our abs and then we'll finish off with a stretch for our glutes. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to interlace our fingers and bring the hands behind the head. Elbows will stay wide the whole time. Okay, now I'm going to engage my abdominals, ribs in, belly button in, hip points coming in towards the center. Now that my abs are nice and engaged, I'm going to inhale, 
On the exhale, I'm going to lift my head, lift my shoulders, keeping my elbows wide, chin away from the chest, okay? Then I'm going to lift one foot off the floor. So if you're lifting your left foot off the floor, you're going to bring your right elbow towards that knee. So it's a crisscross, okay? It's a modified Pilates crisscross. Let's do it on the other side. Use your exhale to lift your head and the shoulders off the floor. So notice I'm not doing this. My elbow stays wide. Think more of rib or ribs towards your opposite hip bone. Consciously keep those elbows wide. Keep the head resting in your hands. So I want you to pull your head. Chin away from the chest. And like I said, this is a modified crisscross. As you get more familiar with this, get stronger with this, we'll then progress to another version of the same exercise. But it's really, really important to get this engagement correctly. So keep practicing this version first. So by now, you should really be feeling those abdominals nice and fired up. Use your exhale. Stay with me. Let's do two more. Last one, each side. Very good. And release the head, release the shoulders, bring your arms by the sides. And just turn the head side to side, look over one shoulder and then over the other, relaxing the neck a little bit here. Good. And as promised, we're going to stretch those glutes. So bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Interlace your fingers behind the left thigh. With your right elbow, maybe you're able to gently press the right thigh away from you. And flex your feet. You want to be gentle here, slowly pulling this whole shape towards your chest. And breathe here. Try to relax into the stretch. Slow down the breath. Notice how with each breath, more tension melts away. Good. And then slowly release. And let's move on to the other side. Plant your right foot, bring your left Ankle over the right leg, interlace your fingers behind the right thigh and gently press the left thigh away with your left elbow if you're able to. Flex your feet and then pull this whole shape towards you. Keep your elbows bent. Immediately as you bend your elbows, your shoulders relax. Soften across the collarbones, soften across your eyebrows. Pull. Breathe. Tune into the sensation of the stretch. How does it feel in your glutes and your hips, on your lower back? And then slowly release. Breathe. Take a moment. Whenever you're ready, drop your knees all the way to the right. Use your hand to lift yourself up and come into a comfortable seated position. Great job. Take a moment here to close your eyes, lengthen through the spine, and just check in. How do you feel after this workout? 
How does your body feel? How does your breath feel? How does your mind feel? It's really important for us to tune in. Get in touch with your inner environment. Closing my eyes helps me do that. If it helps you, please go ahead and close your eyes. It takes just a few seconds to tune in. And it's really important to do this a few times during the day. Oftentimes, because we're so busy, because we have so many tasks to accomplish, we forget to tune into this inner environment. And always remember that that's where your strength lies. And when you tune into that inner environment, you live re richer experiences, fuller experiences. And then slowly blink your eyes to open. Thank you very, very much for joining me, for following along, for taking some time for your body, for your mind, for your breath. I'll see you again very soon.